That's me at 85. Just playing in the backyard. Well, and that's my sister Mary. Teaching me my first magic trick. <laughs> As you can see, my sense of reality was distorted at a very young age. I soon learned about names like Ramsey, Lipsy, magicians who could perform the most amazing miracles with nothing more than 10 fingers. There were 13 here, count together with me. Together, okay, one, two, three, four, <coughs> excuse me, six, seven, <laughs> saw me performing on television. She was watching an old videotape of me on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Oh, watch close. Here comes the best part. Watch Mr. Rogers' right hand. Right now. Down. Down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really nailed him hard. <laughs> So you see, on my first television appearance, my two-year-old daughter watched me assault Mr. Rogers. <laughs> now, I'm going to begin by passing this knife into the audience. The, the chess players among you may want to pass it two seats over and one row back. <laughs> now we go. The challenge is to land on every single square once and only once, covering the entire board in only 64 moves. Okay. And stop. Each individual square I was placed on the board has a partial image on the back. In my mind, I was trying to assemble a 64-piece puzzle on the reverse side. And if every piece fell in the right place, then there was one additional person watching my performance tonight I'd like you to meet. My father. This old book that made my 12 year old heart beat faster connected my practice art back to the primitive priests who were the first fingers of the human race. That leaves me with the two tens and you. No, actually, you got the ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has three and a half cards. If you reach under your seat, you'll feel a little on the wall. And it, Because if you show them like this, it tends to give the trick away. <laughs> but I would keep the ace on top. See? Face down, it looks something like this, okay? Face up, it would look something like this. Now, there's a technical name for what I'm doing. It's called cheating. <laughs> if you see it, let me know. Just call it Okay, 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 where? Which one? This one? Yeah. You're right, okay, now yeah, they were right. This is the bottom. That, that was off the bottom. But I had a slow one down for you, everybody. See, so we'd be here all day. <laughs> because the canal will read. Oh. Ten fingers. I represented the United States at the FISM conference in Madrid, Spain. It's sort of like the Olympics of magic. And to close the show, I'd like to perform the act that won the gold medal that year in Spain. My FISM act. I brought along a little three-minute hourglass with me. The timed competition is ten minutes. Then I don't need this. I need... This. <laughs> now that's ten minutes. A finger we borrowed from a member of the audience will float up and out of this little box. But underneath the center cuff is the biggest one of all, because there it is, the biggest one. No, that's not it. That's the biggest oh. one. But I can't figure out where it is. Again, it's not going to float out of the box. 48 inches above the top of this table. It gets better all the time. Watch. If you take a close look at the center of the hourglass, you will see a ring. Now it's literally around the middle of the glass. I have no idea how your ring got on that hourglass, but I certainly know how to get it off.
<laughs> we find your ring. I can now safely return the ring to you. And that leaves me with some sand, some glass to finish. Just in the nick of time. Thank you.